scientists say they're discovering humanity's ancestral home and it's in a surprising place a massive lake glistens beneath the Sun cutting a clear expanse across an otherwise lush wetland here a new species homo sapiens has gathered with these modern humans having evolved from their Neanderthal ancestors humankind started some 200,000 years ago in fact and scientists have just now pinpointed the surprising place where it all began the experts helming the study used scientific data to pinpoint this verdant locale. In particular, they had to rely on mitochondrial DNA, which they gathered from the cells of 1,217 samples. This battery-shaped genetic material passes from mothers to their children, so the researchers had to find a population with a maternal line that stretched far into the past. With the right DNA information gathered and analyzed, the research team then highlighted a general area. After that, then came further archaeological and geological research, which helped them to find something spectacular – evidence of a massive ancient lake that broke down into wetlands. Its lush greenery was the backdrop for the first humans to walk the earth, and its modern-day location may just surprise you. Experts have long believed that humankind traced all the way back to the African continent. However, mapping evolutions and migrations has been a difficult task, to say the least. It was about 7 million years ago when human beings began to evolve, splitting off from primates such as the chimpanzee and the bonobo. As it stands, it's virtually impossible to find every link between humans and primates since scientists simply don't have enough fossil records to achieve this. Indeed, entire species may have come and gone without leaving a trace for experts to uncover today. Instead, they only have bits and pieces to work with. However, the picture of humankind's ancestral roots becomes clearer as scientists move nearer to the present day. They know, for example, that Neanderthals roamed Europe and even trekked into Siberia and Central Asia, although not as far as Africa. But while this population may have paved the way for modern humans, they did not actually originate with the species. Instead, it would be the evolution of Homo heidelbergensis and Homo erectus that gave way to Homo sapiens. And these new humans presented a variety of slight differences that separated them from the likes of the Neanderthal population who roamed the continent above them. For one, Homo sapiens took on a more slender build than the stockier Neanderthals up north. In addition, modern humans mastered the art of making tools in a way that Neanderthals hadn't. The African continent styled their weapons to have sleek, elongated blades. They also fashioned them into more sophisticated throwing spears, which made their hunting more effective and Neanderthals, by contrast, wielded clunkier weapons that had been chiseled from large stones. However, the fact that both the Homo sapiens and Neanderthal populations had similar lifestyles did confound experts. As a result, then, they formulated two main theories about how and where humankind developed. Some believed in what's called the multi-regional hypothesis, which states that human ancestors spread across the globe, thus allowing modern humans to evolve in a handful of different places worldwide. Then there was the single origin concept known as the out of Africa theory. As the name suggests, the idea purports that modern humans grew and evolved on the continent for millennia before migrating to other areas of the earth. And by the 1980s, scientists would have appeared to be a clear confirmation of the out of Africa concept. DNA testing completely revolutionized science in a number of ways. In terms of humankind's ancestral roots, scientists could analyze the genetic information of modern populations. From there, they traced subjects' lineages back into the distant past, and these mappings always led researchers to one place of origin – Africa. In fact, in tracing the mitochondrial DNA back all the way to the cradle of civilization, experts realized that one woman's genetic code has been carried through to everyone on Earth today. She's known to scientists as Eve, although she's not the same as the biblical figure and is not considered as the first ever human woman on Earth. Rather, Eve lived when the entire human population was a mere 10,000 people. As such, she was neither the only nor the oldest of our ancient predecessors. She just happened to have an unbroken line of daughters who passed her mitochondrial DNA onto their baby girls and down through the ages right through to the present day. In short, Eve is regarded as humankind's most recent common ancestor, according to Smithsonian Magazine. A 2008 DNA analysis confirmed, too, that she's the only woman of that time to have an unbroken lineage of daughters and therefore retraced Eve's origins. And scientists concluded that she had originated in Africa, 
more specifically the eastern area of the continent. All this information pointed to major migrations that started between 60,000 and 80,000 years ago. At that time, modern humans left their African origins for Asia. By about 45,000 years ago, they'd moved into Australia, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea too. Then 5,000 years after that, they would leave Africa for Europe. Humans who journeyed from Africa to Europe likely took one of two pathways to get north. Some would have traced the Mediterranean coast to get onto the continent, while others passed through Turkey and along the Danube. Their insurgents pushed Neanderthals into a few mountainous areas until the species disappeared about 25,000 years ago. The final step in humankind's journey would bring them to the Americas. This happened about 15,000 years ago and began in Asia. From there, Homo sapiens traveled across the Pacific to reach North America first. Once on land, some of them continued to wander until they reached South America and settled there too. Furthermore, some scientists still believe that humankind came from more than one single place. University of Cape Town archaeologist Rebecca Ackerman told The Guardian that our roots could be in Africa and beyond. She noted, drawing sweeping conclusions about places of origin from analysis of this tiny part of the modern genome is deeply problematic and outdated. Nevertheless, Hayes' study did pinpoint one potential origin for humankind, and many experts have long believed that the species did, indeed, evolve in Africa. And even with modern science and DNA testing, it still may prove an impossible question to answer definitively. For now, though, we can consider life as it may have been 200,000 years ago, with the first humans finding their way in a Botswana. Check out these other videos from Let Me Know. If you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel, all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching.